Welcome, Welcome back to Professor Layton's okay. awesome game. <clears throat> well, Written, directed, and produced uh, by me. Wait, hold on, hold, hold on, Professor. I thought this game was being written by Akito Hino and his team. Someone no, has no, no. I, 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 no, no, no. You see what happened here was, yes, Akira Hino did write some of the script, but I threw it away, wrote my own script, and then wrote his name on it to make it look like he did it. How dare you? Your cousin would be so proud. I know. <laughs> anyway, okay. the, the specter appears. Oh, I love this music. We still have some time before the sun sets. So that means... Do you mind giving us a quick tour of North Eli, Luke? Or is it El mm, I guess since I'm feeling it's in a generous mood, no. Eli or Ellie, what the fuck? You want to go sightseeing? Now? Well, why not? I mean, it's, it's, it's a perfect excuse for me. I can go film, not exactly, but if the spectre does appear, then I'd like to be familiar with the layout on the land. Besides, I can I can pretend I'm acting in order for, just for an excuse for me to go on vacation. Alright, well then, we should go before it gets dark. No, seriously, I want to go on holiday, but I also have to pretend <laughs> directing something here. I know, holiday! Scouts, <laughs> a key step in a proper investigation. How exciting. Yes, I, I purposely wrote that dialogue for you because it's my weakest dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exciting, but Spectre's dangerous! I know that. But don't worry. The professor and I will solve the mystery of the spectre. And then uh, Emmy says, I don't like sand. Let's it's all keep in mind how important it is. Well, doesn't like sand. Well, uh, allow, uh, allow, allow me to say right away, again, this is not a spoiler, it's something that's not going to happen, therefore it's not a spoiler. The the writers are not going to try to pair up uh, uh, Leighton with, with Emmy at all. Okay. For, a, for a very big reason. There's, yeah. yeah, there's, there's, there's a very big... I think I've accidentally came across a spoiler, and yeah, I know. Oh, oh okay. I know too. Wait, <laughs> what do you know of Lost oh. Future? Oh, so you've heard of, of what happens in Lost Future? Yeah, I've ac accidentally came across a spoiler. Ah, okay. Oh well, not the whole story, but something about Leighton. Now, let's get well, for going. the sick of it. Let's not spoil the audience. Yes. Explore North Ellie. Delicate touches like this really make a difference in a hotel. Mmm, flowers are nice, but I prefer when they give you chocolates. Yeah, I'm more of a drinks person myself. <laughs> I am. I much rather have flowers. Honest. <laughs> how, how typical. It's going. Ellie's a Ellie's a tomboy, but she's trying to sound a little. She's she's trying. Emmy. Oh, okay. It's better. Be <laughs> okay. Go ahead. My name is Emmy. Aha! This gives an excellent view of Great Emmy. I mean Eli Street. <laughs> Professor! <laughs> well, hello there, little tree. Plants really live in up a room, don't they? Um, Ellie, as Emmy, are you sure you haven't been watching The Happening again? <laughs> <laughs> no. What was <laughs> they do? Turn carbon di di dioxide into oxygen? Well done, Luke. You're great at science. Better than Mr. Mr. Uh, he's already He's already better than a Night Shyamalan, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you, you give me an awesome idea for my next script. I call wow, it, I call it, Professor Layton, solo. <laughs> where Luke and Emmy get killed off and I am the only person left alive. <laughs> Professor, we cannot be lonely for you. Well, hey, I proved I could, I'm a better actor than any one of you losers. <laughs> Not to mention that you'd probably become a murder suspect and then Phoenix Wright would have to defend you. No, of course not. That's why I terminated your contracts earlier. Plus you'll get slapped about by Francisco. Who? Well, yeah. Uh, uh, that. Yeah, it would have to be Phoenix because uh, Leighton is a, a, a prosecutor at heart. <laughs> First, we need to have a clear understanding of our surroundings. Let's explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay. And yeah, Francisco would probably be the... the pro Prosecution for that one. Either Francisca or... Well... Maybe Simon. In a horrible... In a horrible... Aha! In a horrible accident, Leighton and... Sorry, Luke and Emmy got shot in the head by a sniper person. <laughs> Leighton cried for two seconds, 
Then he moved on and threw Emmy and Luke's bodies into the dumpster, then later went on his awesome adventures, completely ignoring them. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Layden was accused of murder. This will be a box office smash! Java, would you please explain the puzzle? Yes. This is, um, well, okay, basically, the way this works is... You have to make it so that if you wrap this into a cube, it would all be connected. Now, at first, it would seem easy, but let's remember, you're not seeing what it looks like as a cube. You're looking what it sees, like, all laid out flat. So, the trick is to getting all these pieces in, not only that they connect, but so that they'll actually connect into a map when they're folded into a cube. Exactly. You can also rotate some of the things. It's pretty easy. Ultimate, one thing I'm a bit dodgy on with, uh, the, yeah, the only problem I have with these puzzles is, you know, the, um, the rotating mechanic. It's, uh, not exactly per se that always that easy, because sometimes the detection with the edges that you can click to rotate can get in the way. Yeah, so, it, it, that's it, the yeah, yeah, it does happen sometimes, I can, I can, I can confirm that. Suddenly, Leighton realized that Phoenix Wright had lied to him for all these years, so he met up with him and shot him in the stomach. And then it turns out that, <laughs> that it was nice. not Phoenix Wright he shot, and because then, that would be a stupid plot. Uh, Twist. And then he killed Maya but when she cried. No, you can't kill Maya. I can, and I have. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to Crane Village and burned it down because yeah, you know, it was you know, sorry, Professor, it's not just sorry, Wait, Professor. It's not just you, know, you, stop. you know, you know, you know, Professor Layton is the kind of guy who, if a if a if a building <laughs> if a building fell, the professor would be laughing at the ants that were killed. Ha ha! You stupid <laughs> ants. <laughs> 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 and then, Layton, sorry, Layton, and then Layton said, "Objection!" Chris but sorry, Layton, but being a lawyer, I actually know how these contractual things work. It is written here that since you are actually not associated with Capcom or any of their higher ups, all rights do not go to you. So if you were to try and write the script, you would be sued for a billion dollars and. Probably found guilty since Capcom has some of the best prosecutors on their team, I'm afraid. That's what you think. I hope but... you enjoyed the last scene. The censors would like to inform you that no character was murdered in the previous scene. Ah, uh, yes, that's what you think. But last night, I went to Capcom and held the gun. Yes, I, mean, um, I mean, I made them agree to a deal where I can use their characters. Hmm. Um, ask the objection, Professor. It was actually shown that you were actually extremely drunk that night, and you only imagined it. You were actually having a control dispute with a lamp, which, for some reason, <laughs> somehow you got a signature of. Um, uh, but the lamp's my biggest fan! There's a small pool for drinking water. I think someone dropped it. Oh. Changing it. Supposed to have good fortune for the rest of the day if you throw coins in there. Ooh, very good. Can right. I try? Can I try? Sure. Layton, uh, don't you have enough money? Um, uh, well, yes, of course, that's why I'm throwing this one coin in the lake. Oh, let me try. Let's see. I, I hope I've got some change left. Um, I didn't take your change, I swear. <laughs> Layton, have you been stealing my lunch money? I recall a puzzle about fetching water. Why not have a go while you search your pockets? And then Leighton runs off to get Emmy some new change because he actually spent it on. Uh, oh, he spent it on the. Where did you get that game. change from? He took it from the fountain, destroying everyone's wishes. Yes, um, and now I'm rich. <laughs> because he's a dick like that. Yes. So you have two empty buckets and are currently in a park with two fountains, starting at the position marked by a star. Visit both of the fountains, filling a bucket at each, and return as quickly as possible to the starting point. Assuming you do not travel along the same path twice, which, what route should you take? Draw a line along your route. Okay, basically, it's the usual get stuff done as quickly as possible while also, fill, um, while also fulfilling the requirements. Basically, okay. you can only go once on a square, so you're trying to get the shorter amount of distance while also gathering both buckets without oh. treading it if your distance. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, okay. basically it's a maze puzzle, that's all you need to know. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. After some feedback, I've decided to make some changes to my script and omit any Capcom characters. I'll handle this one, Professor. Do you want to hear, oh. my, do you want to hear my new script? Uh, sure, after I 
solution. Professor, I think um, I'd rather not. No, 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 don't yeah. worry. You don't die. If you follow oh. the same path in the opposite direction, you would have to carry heavy water-laden buckets quite a long distance. That you would see, slow you um, down, so it isn't the fastest way. You see, Emmy, there you go. Emmy sadly, um, we can't afford you, so we've written you as ill in the first act, and then you're gone for the rest of the game. <laughs> I see. Nicely done. So did you find any spare coins? Professor, you do know you can get sued if you go too far. Not a penny. Oh well, maybe next time. Um, Providing it doesn't get destroyed this um, time. Yes, um, Emmy, I apologize for um, being a bit harsh to you, so... Um, oh, Professor, may I have that hint coin? Uh, oh, no, yeah. but you can have... But I got you this rose! Oh, Gab's girl is online. Yes. Emma, Emmy, I got you this rose. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I am suspicious. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not traced of anything. A most pleasant pop spot to sit and admire the view. Yeah. You never get this in London, would you? No, it's a shithole. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I once sat at a table with my parents for a Sunday rose. It, it, it's sad to hear that because as a, as a kid, I've always wanted to visit London. <laughs> Yeah, London's not London's not really all that. If you're great. going to go to London, stay in central London for goodness sake. <laughs> and, and all, uh, actually, is that the part with Big Ben? One time, yes. uh, one time when I went to, ah. London, I actually heard a car accident right behind me. Uh, well, car accidents central happen London all the time all everywhere. The it's not is. like uh, yeah, but London's with all the traffic going through it. <clears throat> I really love Wibs, this. I really, I really love this particular track. Yes, you are. London is better than Swansea. What mm. Cardiff? Mm. I like everything is better than Swansea. But then again, I like going I, to London. I've always wanted to go to London, but you know what? I've wow. changed. I've changed, changed of plans. I'm going to visit uh, Shiroi. Could you pronounce that fucking word, please? I can't. <laughs> it's Welsh. <laughs> well, it sounds like Central London is worth the visit at I'm, least. And, and, I, and I'm thinking of Drippy from Nino Kuni trying to s spell that. <laughs> I wonder if he could. <laughs> As, I've loved. I'm wondering. I'm wondering how much it would be worth to actually hear someone pronounce that name. Which it? Hey, Get looking at the menu reminded me of something. Do you know this puzzle, Emmy? Wow, looking at a puzzle. It's like looking at a menu reminds you of a puzzle. puzzle. How to solve? How to pronounce this place name? In the full. Oh, oh, Dwibs, Let's remember. In the first game, Leighton was reminded of a puzzle by looking at germs. Yeah. The four puzzles in this cafeteria have a selection of food and drink. The cost of the food on each table totals the exact same amount. With this in mind, what is the mystery item at table four? Choose from A, B, and C. Indeed. All right. Uh, now, for the sake of letting the audience try and guess, show try the hints off. Pick two, one. Two. Try comparing two to. What oh, I was okay. reading that. <laughs> so yeah, basically, it's a chance to compare the two tables and try and guess which one. Exactly. Try to work out how much the total. Bill try to work out how much the total. Bill tea. Okay, 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 Joel, you're lacking so behind us. It was in terms of cups of tea. Try to make it. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> Anyway, professor, Are you would you drinking uh, while on duty? Anyway, professor, would you please please what? Read tables what? Oh. <laughs> tables don't have the same tables amount of juice, so another juice in comparison. That leaves you with a cup of tea and portion of interest in table one. And three cups of tea in table three. You can mark work on which one play the cost the same as two cups of tea. Seriously, <sighs> please what? <sighs> okay, am I You're... lagging this time? No. Okay, try to read. Oh, okay then. Oh, you use the super. Now you know the portion of toast. Yes, this is going to be with a few ones. I'm basically figured I might as well show the audience all four of the hints here. I'm random with this. <coughs> now you know that a portion of toast costs the same as two cups of tea. Have a look at table two. If you replace the toast with its equivalent value of tea, you have four cups of tea. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm and ill. the end right is A. I'm Somebody ill. I demand a wage increase. Basically, it's a combination of the duck uh, of the deduction and basic math. Terrific! Yeah. The answer is item A. If you look at tables one and three, you can deduce that a plate of toast costs the same as two of God damn it. I was trying to do that with me in mind of reading, but okay. Correct. No, she right. Oh, a more. No. What? No. No, no more. Look at that. Look at the menu. The menu is making my stomach grumble. <laughs> God. Damn it, Emmy! Did you remember to read? Okay, all of a sudden, had two voices right there. 
Please, Emmy, please, Emmy, try to keep your lights straight, otherwise the professor will get mad. I'm already mad. <laughs> oh, it's great, my video's lagging. 1505, 1506, 1507. Okay. Well, look at that. Jova's. Looks like Jova found something. There we go. You found a new oh, item. A cracked uh -huh. teacup. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Luke, here's a present for you. A cracked teacup. Hello there. Well, now. You look um, familiar. Thank is this you, a, is, Professor. Is this your first time here at Patty's? How racist. Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. I'm Patty, the owner. Can I rustle something up for you? I, I do a lovely bacon and egg sandwich. Worst Irish accent ever. Soft, freshly okay. baked bread with stuffed scrambled eggs and a juicy rasher too. Mmm. Okay, even... pause at 1643. Okay. Well, I'm only half Irish. Fried <laughs> button mushrooms and tomato. Oh, and now bread will be buttered, but my name's not Patty. Fancy it? It's tomato. What'd you say, 1648, Jova? Yeah, Jova. Uh, 1643. Oh, okay. okay. I won't take no for an answer, Professor. No. Ready. <laughs> not having any, and that's that. Professor, you stole my lunch money. You're paying for this. <laughs> Fine. Go on, yeah, enjoy Professor, a meal. You and, and kind of have bread. an obligation. So just ask if you need, we need more. Professor, what, hap what, what happened to one must always tend to, uh, to a lady's needs? And um, Jova, go. Well, um, that was, remember, that was for, that was, that's in the original trilogy. In the prequel trilogy, I could do whatever I want, because I haven't learned that yet. <laughs> ah, I threw a logic right back at your face. All right, Take then. Take that. He's, but as a human he's being, learning. You know oh, Joe. Why don't I... you use it in your acting? You said I was a human being. <laughs> it's going. Yes. And Come on, slaves. I mean, fellow cast members. Let's poke around. Oh. Jova? Ew, a snail. It's so slimy. Oh. So it's probably enjoying a cool, damp corner in the shade. So, yeah, apparently Emmy's one weakness is snails. <laughs> Luke, buy her a bunch of snails and have them eat, her, eat that for her tea. Jesus. <laughs> Ugh. Why not? I'm wondering if at this point it was Luke who actually told Leighton the virtues of being a true gentleman. A spectre will appear on the next street over. <laughs> well, I've had just about enough. <laughs> wow! I already have plenty to do and now I have to just drop it all and go? <laughs> that yes, knows. You do. Now I think off. we've... Pa! I'm in a really bad mood. So now you're going to help me solve this puzzle. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> um... it's Pedro. I think we found Luke at me's long lost mother. <laughs> I think we found someone who's more of a diva than the professor. <laughs> yeah, that too. Actually, no one that could be Maximilian makes sense now. Galactica. Wait a minute. No and one out divas Professor Layton. And oh, 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 okay. But for a moment there I thought the Duets was going to have Layton fall in love with her. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> professor, do you have a crush on that lady? No. She's the so, I know. wait a second, she... you fall in love with a prostitute, but you won't fall in love with the old lady. Because no, no, no. she's old. <laughs> it's like, uh, well, uh, let's think about it, Professor. Basically, you're, uh, you're a, a prima donna, she's a prima donna, you know, uh, you're perfect for each other. No. Because she's ugly as I fuck. Know. Okay. You might be under the impression that the top of the map is, uh, as it is currently oriented is north, but that's not necessarily so. Anyway, Joe. Okay, 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 this puzzle. Uh, yes, Pedro? Go ahead. Okay. Basically, it's, um... Oh, which one was this? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to meet a friend at a restaurant, but you forget which of the four restaurants in town it was. You know that the restaurants do north for the hero statue, do south for the goddess statue, and do east of the lion statue. Okay, this is one of those observational puzzles where you have to find the exact location on the map based on the information given to you. Mm-hmm. 
So, since the restaurant is due south and due north of two different statues, you should be able to draw a straight line between the two statues that also passes through the restaurant. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> Professor, are you okay? I'm bored. <laughs> All right. Professor, Someone. remember, you're getting paid for this. Professor, you've been drunk, you've tried to make lines, you've been nearly sued several times during this part. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm just <laughs> tired. There's a bit of a twist to solving this puzzle. Try turning the map 45 degrees at a time. Luke, Professor, pass me you, my whiskey. Could you perhaps mm -hmm. ha be having an early midlife crisis? Yes. Luke, pass me my whiskey. <laughs> Um, well, Professor, you have never gave me any whiskey to give to you. Wait a minute. Well, oh, wait a minute. Here, take the whiskey. I'll give it back to me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. You're, you're British. Um, Professor, you drink I tea? don't think this is good for you. Do, do you honestly think I'm British? No. I'm from... I'm like Max von Sydow. I sound Some British, but yet I'm not it. British. Pro Professor, as a good friend... As a good, as a good no agent once undone. said, Manners maketh. Man. Who the fuck was that? Uh, that would be Harry Hart, or, or code mm. codename right. Galahad. Not Mark A. You might um, uh, Yeah, Professor, I actually saw that movie. It was pretty good. You'd learn a lot from being a gentleman there while also seeing them kick a lot of ass. Ooh, action films. Oh, boy. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, Professor, remember, manners maketh man. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll try and keep that in mind again. <laughs> uh, don't I suppose that we have to evacuate, and as I'm told, they'd better be quick about it. Did you hear that, Emmy? The police have already started helping the townspeople evacuate. It's like they're actually doing their jobs this time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's another no thing. strings attached. That's another, yes. that's another piece of brilliant writing I wrote into the script. Political commentary. Even with Luke's predictions, the lack of casualties must be down to some first-rate police work. Which is odd, because one time they arrested me just for wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, Professor. Don't talk about the hat, please. It pains me to hear, to hear you talk about the hat. <laughs> Jova knows why. <laughs> Not just... Yes. Anyway, Not just the hat, but also late in getting arrested, too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, happy okay. train ride. Yay! Uh, wait, what? I didn't write this in the script. What's what's going on here? We're gonna ride a, a train. We're, we're gonna ride a train in a mini game, Professor. Fine. For track that you're going to build. Why do I have to build it? Because you're getting paid to do it. Come on, Professor. Nowhere in my contract does it say build a fucking train truck. Come on, Professor. Let's I see. may uh, have written it in your contract. Come on, Professor. Let's see if we can find yeah. platform nine, nine and three quarters. Oh yeah, now I remember, this is the one where I purposely show up what happens if you fail. Yes, just for Professor. The sake of it. Pretend you're on the Hogwarts Express. Alright, I'm going to run in, I'm gonna run into that post over there. Yeah, crash <laughs> Oh He'll be okay, folks. He'll be okay. You lied to me. How come wow, it's like like that? Being... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like everyone else is being the dick to Leighton instead for once. Yeah. Alright, oh, let's try again. Yeah. Oh, I'm through. Oh boy. Wow, that actually worked. See you guys. I'm off to Hogwarts. Find another actor to play later. <laughs> Don't worry. We always have the backup. There's this Phoenix Wright fellow who's actually looking for a game position. Okay, I will do so Hogwarts. I'm right back. <laughs> I do I'll not get want some every American. time. I do not want some American imposter playing my British part. Oh, the irony. All right, so... Seriously, those Americans will never figure out how to do good accents. Oh, um, yeah, I know. But Professor, what about Christopher Miller? Who? You know, the guy who voices you. And what about Mr. Troy Baker as well? They didn't consult me about who's playing me? How dare they? <laughs> He oh, does Mr. have a very spot-on British accent, Professor. I'll admit, it was, it was a little bit wavy in the first game, but later on it got better. I'll admit that. But why didn't they let me play the part? I look like Because they knew you'd object. 
The interesting thing, uh, you see, no, you see, Professor, uh, Christopher Miller actually has a British wife, so he has the advantage of being able to, you know, uh, hear a, 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 first, a British accent every day, so... It would, wife? It would, and if... I don't need a wife. I've got my hand. I'm uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, you did. And oh, it's just been recorded. Oh, shit, my reputation's ruined. We've done quite a lot of talking. Professor, um, oh, um, take it from me. Um, you have no What's reputation. That? Well, well, who's that indeed? Well, people say I'm like Edward Norton and he's famous. Good day. May I ask him? A few questions. Of course, young lady. You can ask me all the questions you want. What's your name? Her name is Dumb Bitch. Uh -oh. Um, my name is Emmy. Thank thank you. We are investigating the Spectre. Do you know anything about it? And then suddenly Francisca whisked off Leighton and whipped him in the quarter. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. My back hurts. What? Oh, oh Leighton, why do you have all those lashes on your back? Don't t don't ask me. She made me watch Fifty Shades of Grey while she whipped me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Whoa. Even, even for me, that's a bit too far. No, you had it, you had it playing in the background. What excuse do you have? Oh, fine. Uh, you know that? <laughs> I had people oh. for fun. <laughs> oh, uh, police came by talking about a spectre. They said the oracle predicted it would show up. Um, uh, wait a minute. Who wrote Matrix stuff into my script? <laughs> it was Mr. David Cage, I believe. Don't worry, though. A lot of that stuff has been omitted for the sake of sanity. So you heard word that the spectre will be here tonight? Yes, the spectre will premiere tonight. Yay! Come on, Yay! Dwebs. Let's, come, on, come on, come on, come on, Dwebs, Let's go. Wow. Yeah. Buy a ticket. Yeah. Uncle Sean knows what's going on. Here, yeah, they should do the weather too. Oh, and uh, Americans, oh, sorry. Oh, if you're an American, sorry, you're gonna have to wait till November. We get it in October. Ha ha. Ha ha. People are really taking Luke's advice seriously. It's because. Well, let, let's just say he has. Um, he uh, has had a pretty good, consistent rate of predicting where that spectre will show up. Oh yeah, um, uh, Jova. Speaking of, are you are you really interested in James Bond? Uh, I'm not disinterested with it, but I haven't really gotten into James Bond yet. Skyfall. I Skyfall. Really... Skyfall is a fantastic entry point. Ah. Yeah, it's only it's it's only the third film in the rebooted series, so you don't have to watch the other twenty one. One of the so. great things about Skyfall is that it pretty much establishes and pretty much ends right at the very beginning of pretty, what is pretty much the the the, the, the legendary M's office. Um, really? So 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 it's a really great entry point. Like, uh, no, no, it, it does. What, what I love about Skyfall is that it takes it does a great job at doing what exa what what I wanted out of Casino Royale and Quantum Souls never got a true balance of the best we got from the old movies and uh, some actual uh, gripping dramatic story. Like it did a great job throwing in a great balance of both ch some cheesy stuff, but some awesome serious dramatic stuff too. It was which it was, is which nice. is which is uh, which is which is good because considering ten years prior, one of the writers oh. of Skyfall also wrote Star Trek Nemesis. <laughs> uh, anywho, Shiroi, here's a new voice for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't believe I know your name. Oh. I'm Molly. I work over at the hotel on Great El Ellie Street. Why do you sound right. like why do you sound like <laughs> Emmy? Are you a sister? That would be rather interesting, now wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. My apologies, Professor. I have four kids, Caliber. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Continue. So you're Lisa Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> we got um. that a back order. So I got all my things and left the hotel in a hurry. But I didn't see Joe leave. See? I, I can't be civilized. If a woman turns me down, I take her to move on. <laughs> he was muttering on about guests, and that he should stay just in case. I see. All the business is Wait, ripe somewhere. Why are your breasts that big, but your stomach is that small? Are you all right? You're you, you look like you're about to die from starvation. <laughs> I believe the term is a stick with boobs. It's cla It's a cla uh, This is actually a really classic. Um, uh, this design is clearly inspired by a lot of British 
uh, cartoony like designs it. because I've seen a lot of British cartoony characters with the, female characters with this kind of physique. <laughs> wow. It's all right, miss. We saw your manager earlier. He'll be fine. I didn't punch him too hard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't help but worry, though. I should have been dragging Joe out, not my precious dolls. Wow, and people say I'm heartless. <laughs> Professor, really? you are. Oh, I know I am. The same doll. Since you puzzle 17. There are, uh, allow me. The there are four dolls oh, here. Wow. It may not look like at first, but one of these dolls marked A, B, and C is identical to the doll on the far left. Which of the three dolls matches the doll on the far left? A. It may not look like it. Uh, Dwebs, think, think, think a little more about it. Like, uh, uh, it's not quite as simple uh, as you might think. B? E? Like, uh, let's take a good look at the dolls and you'll see. Let's get a hint. The dolls, the, same look, posture. the dolls may look all different, but the word identical is accurate here. Pay close attention to what the dolls are wearing. A, then. Jova, would you please? <laughs> Oh, uh, what do you want me to? What are you doing with oh! the What are doing with the memo function? Basically, what I'm doing right here is I'm sort of outlining them to see if I can get a sort of a idea of the similar shapes. It's A. You'll see where this is going. Yeah. I mean, A. They got the same clothes, sort of. They got the same posture. All right, one more hint. Right. Now let's look at the sentence hint. Have you tried? Have you tried comparing the dolls from oh, different you angles? I want to read this one. Think about how you might examine the dolls if you were holding them. Well, how do I want to examine dolls? I'm a 25-year-old man. Uh, 34-year-old. Uh, yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, I know more about your reads than you, apparently. The face and hands of the dolls don't have much to do with solving the puzzle. What you should be paying attention to are the collars of the clothing and the arms and legs. I try my best to keep my age a secret. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. I don't even want to know all the reasons for that, but yeah. <laughs> so, Java, do you actually use a super hit? I don't think I do on this one. I was thinking on this. Or do I? Uh, I'm just asking. S hint is flashing. I think I was wondering if I wanted to show the audience the super hint on this one. Look at the collars of the oh, socks yeah, I and I the gloves. As well as the collar of the fringe on the bottom of the skirts to help pick out the red doll. Okay, I think we're at this point, yeah. Challenging puzzle we can figure this one out. Alright, the puzzle, uh, the game will explain. A good solution. So allow me. <clears throat> what? Correct, it is doll C. This doll is reversible. When you flip it over, the skirt falls to expose another torso and face. With the arms are seen and the legs and vice versa, you simply have to look for a doll with the same color skirt fringe as the doll on the left, but with with opposite color arms and legs. God, this is kind of hard to read because of the wording. <laughs> okay, basically the way is like, well, you notice how like, um, they have certain colored arms and whatnot. That's, uh, that's basically the feet when you flip over the doll. Yeah. Are those your dolls? Yes, and they're quite special, so I just grabbed them and fled from the hotel. Hmm. What if what if your child was there? Who would you save then? Of course. I'm hmm. not like you. <laughs> oh my god, it just reminded me of a great uh, of a great joke. Uh, here's an interesting thing. Basically, here in Portugal we had a show that's pretty much our equivalent of the, of the Daily Show of Jon Stewart. And uh, basically, back when there was a, pr a, a campaign to elect a new prime minister, basically, uh, there was this one female candidate who always kept talking about the uh, saving the little companies and sh the, the smaller companies of Portugal and stuff like that. So basically, the, uh, the, the guy from that, who when he interviewed her, was all like, and I'm quotes, Okay, um, I have an excited question for you. Um, if there was a fire in your house and you could only save a small company, your dog, or a Picasso painting, what would you save? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and she, well, well, again, the part is over, so I might as well finish the joke. Basically, so, so, so the the woman got all like a bit flustered and shit, but then all of a sudden she, she's she's all like, okay, here's my idea. Um, first, what I do is I save the company because I cannot imagine myself living without a small company. So basically, 
Uh, I, I just would let the dog be because I can think the dog will run away. And uh, with the res with the money I will get from the small company, I could buy another Picasso painting. <laughs> awesome, right? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> well, that's been another invigorating part, and I believe in the next part we will finally get to the Spectre. Awesome. So we get to see Blofeld in the next part? Uh, sure. <laughs> maybe, Dwibs, maybe. See ya, guys. See ya. See ya.